Hello everyone, Torx here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a Wi-Fi card into a desktop computer. If you're new to doing PC techie upgrades and things of that nature, you're in luck because installing a Wi-Fi card is one of the easiest installations you can do. Here's how. First, before opening your computer up, always make sure all the cables are unplugged and if your power supply, that's this thing that the main power cable plugs into and then into the outlet, has a switch, make sure it is switched off. To be extra safe, you can also press the power button at the front of the computer after doing this in order to release any potential stored energy. Now set the computer down on preferably a hard surface. It's never recommended to do this on a carpet since carpets are prone to creating static electricity, but I've been doing this for years to hundreds of different systems and I've never once had a problem with doing that. But still, I suggest a hard surface if you can. Now all cases are a little different, but most of the time there will be two Phillips head screws keeping the front side panel in place. Unscrew these, pull the panel back and lift. Don't be shy if you're new to this. You will now be greeted with this. This is a bit of an older system. Most of the parts you're seeing here are from somewhere around 2009, but don't worry, the installation process for this is exactly the same in early mid-2020. Hey guys, I'll do it with that coronavirus. So these slots you're seeing that will be located at the bottom of the motherboard are known as expansion slots. This big one right here is known as a PCI Express or PCIe X16. These two down here are known merely as PCI slots, which are now outdated and typically not used anymore. And finally, this this tiny little guy is a PCIe X1. For modern Wi-Fi cards, this is what we're looking for. Now your computer's case will have expansion slot plates that will run parallel to the expansion slots. Whichever slot you're installing a card in, that plate will have to be removed. They're basically just here to protect the system from dust. Now there are two kinds of expansion slot plates, reusable and disposable. The ones you're seeing here are disposable, meaning in order to remove one, you literally just push, pull, and twist the plate until it rips off. They're typically made of aluminum and will come off pretty easily, so you shouldn't need any tools to remove them. Now if you see screws fastening down the plates, like showcased here, here, you have reusable plates. To remove one, you guessed it, unscrew it, and lift it out. Make sure you save the screw too, because we'll need it to finish installing the card. Now the slot is clear, and we're ready to install. Get your Wi-Fi card in there. This is pretty user-friendly and self-explanatory. You'll most likely easily figure out how to do it yourself. Just line the device up with both the slot in the motherboard, as well as the now open slot in the case. You don't need to push the card in too hard. You'll know when it can't go in any further, as you can see here. It will wobble a bit, but we can fix that by screwing it into place. If you have reusable slots, reuse the screw you just unscrewed. If you don't have a screw, well go get one dum dum. There's a few different kinds of screws you can use, but typically you're going to want a 6x32x6 by by millimeter. These screws are also commonly used for case panels, power supplies, and hard drives. Once it's screwed in, there's only one more step in the physical installation of the Wi-Fi card. Attaching the antennas. Locate the rear of your computer where you will now see the exposed antenna slots. Screw them on with your fingers. Like most modern Wi-Fi cards as this is being filmed, this one uses two. Once they're on, that's it. The Wi-Fi card is installed and ready to go. Get your computer plugged back in, turn her on, and now all you have to do is install the Wi-Fi card's driver. If your card came with a CD and you have a CD drive, install it that way. If not, you'll have to obtain the driver off of the internet. And you can do this by going to the Wi-Fi card's manufacturer's website. Now, if you don't have a CD or CD drive, you may be thinking, Wait a minute, how do I go to the manufacturer's website if my Wi-Fi doesn't even work yet? Well, get an Ethernet cable, you bimbo! Thanks for watching, subscribe for more PC how-to videos, and if you have any questions or video requests, please leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Oh, and a quick bonus tip. PCIe X1 cards can fit in PCIe X16 slots, and they will work. As long as the PCIe size is at least the same size as the card, it will function properly. Torx out.